not worried. I don't want them to lose Korean. Yuri야, 엄마 봐. 엄마 얘기하고 있지? 너무 응? He was being jealous. What is it like to be mixed? Or being a brown girl in Idaho? Is it because of the color of the skin? The car pulling over? Today I prank James and this camera, this, this camera, fully backfired my prank. Didn't capture anything. But the thing was also, his reaction was like super nice. <laughs> It was not the one that I expected. I sent him a message saying that like I want to meet meet you and my husband is not coming. <laughs> it was supposed to be me sending another guy a message. He was supposed to be mad at me. He was like, hey, uh, you sent a message to a wrong person. And then I'm like, aww, you trust me. But then this camera didn't catch anything. What do you think about that, honey? Hey, stop making excuses, okay? <laughs> so are you blaming me? Rather than blaming this camera? Yeah. The camera does what you set it up to do, okay? Maybe you, just... you bought the wrong camera. No. <laughs> I bought the right camera. You just not check serving myself. Oh, I'm so sad. It was a prank after a long time, but... <sighs> oh, it was a really nice video. James was being sweet. So I was like, oh, he trusts me. Of course, you know, he trusts me. But at the same time, like... I should have sent a like stronger text message like, "Oh, you're so handsome," like that. <laughs> hey. <laughs> or even calling, calling him like, "Oh, hey, Peter." You know what this is? <laughs> hey, what this is a family-friendly video, so you don't go. What do I call it? Yeah, I'm just asking you. What do you, do you know? What this is? Maybe you need a haircut. And another thing, actually, I need to talk about this. So yesterday, no, it was not yesterday, the other day, um, I was looking at some uh, Instagram pictures and their story, Insta stories. That was a family, and they're a black family, and James was talking Daddy. about how I only follow black people. Daddy, I'm mm -hmm. Which is not true, but I mean, of course, you know, I follow a lot of black people, but he was being jealous. Huh, honey? Are you being jealous? yeah. <laughs> Can I enjoy my cereal? <laughs> it's really good. He was, was being jealous. Like really. Oh, he was like, why are you following so many God. black people? Only black people you need to follow is just me. Oh, huh? Mom. Oh, 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 Hi. <laughs> Today, Yuri, the Somi, and I are gonna go somewhere. A very special place. Very, what very special are they? place. Yeah. It's a and play it's, day. You're going to meet somebody very special. Okay? Alright? Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. So let's go. Yay! Yay! Sumi boy. Sumi boy. Okay, we arrived. Let's see who is waiting for us. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? You are cute. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, that's so me. Hey, boy, Sam, That's my son. That's Jahasia. That one. That's one of mine. Uh huh. Noah is one of mine. Uh huh. Her is one of mine. Uh huh. Her is mine. I'm the oldest. Oh, really? <laughs> Like yeah, I know. <laughs> my old, oldest boy is in even to Utah. Ah, what, what am I missing? Micah. Micah's downstairs. I'll call him in a sec. Hi. This is the youngest. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> She's one I said with the Korean. Oh, really? Yeah, Korean. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> I'm not a No. What's your name? Jelisha. Pretty name. I heard that you're half Korean. Is your mom Korean or dad Korean? Your mom? Is she Korean? She looks like me? 
<laughs> she your sister? Okay. I love your hair. <laughs> Yuri. LOL. That's her favorite. How old are you? How old are you guys? You're nine. She is She's six? Seven? Oh. Yuri is six. And then the Somi is three. How did you guys meet? Charity, I heard that you're second in, in the state and then you go to regional. Yeah, I go to regional like Washington. Where is it again? Washington. That's awesome. Yeah. And if she qualifies the regional, then she goes to the western, so the whole western United States. They're more interested in this than actually meeting you. <laughs> Will you introduce yourself? <laughs> Charity Hepworth. I like to do sports, especially gymnastics. Uh -huh. I do a lot of sports and I like to do art and music and stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, you stood out to me and my kids because obviously, you know, you look <laughs> brown <laughs> like my kids. And when I first came here to Idaho, I don't know, I felt a little lost, like, mm -hmm. you know, because there's so many, yeah. <laughs> you know, white people here. Mm -hmm. Not that, hold on a second, not that I don't like white people. <laughs> I love everybody, but I'm just, they say they look different from other people, and they say, like, oh, my friends have long hair, straight hair, but, like, I have curly hair, I don't really like it, like, mm -hmm. that type of thing. So it just really worried me um, when I first saw you. I was like, oh, look at what is it like to be mixed or being a brown girl in Idaho? <laughs> it's kind of weird. Because <laughs> there's like a lot of, I'm trying not to be like racist or anything, but like there's not like a ton of ethnicity here, you know? No diversity. Yeah, mm -hmm. especially like in gymnastics, there's just me, like I'm the only black girl there and stuff. Like, you know, it's weird, but like a lot of people compliment me like, they love my tan and everything and they're like really jealous of like my tan and they love my curly hair and that's like a plus mm -hmm. so it's not that hard it's not like i get bullied like eh. but it's like weird because there's not a lot of diversity how did you feel at first like oh well uh -huh. i hated curly hair when i was like in elementary school like i loved straight hair and i always wanted straight hair and then like when people started like complimenting me on my like curly hair i just loved it more and more so i got used to it any struggles? Yeah. That is a hard question. <laughs> it's not like people really treat you differently, you know? Mm -hmm. So, but it's kind of funny because like, since my mom has kind of like an accent. One time my mom, so at gymnastics, I, my mom was there and I didn't know. And then like she waited a really long time. So she came in and she like had an accent, speak to me really fast and like was like mad at me. My friend's like, did she speak Spanish? I'm like, she spoke perfectly like, normally so it was not that bad actually mm -hmm. being different yeah uh -huh. like uh -huh. it'd probably be worse if i like had an accent it's not that bad mm. what about you <laughs> now i want to ask you what is it like to be a brown girl what that <laughs> um like be different you know i still don't know like, okay. in the CEO, like, a lot of kids have, like, white and have, like, blonde hair and straight hair and stuff. How's it gonna be, like, different from them? They just, like, cool with it. Um, I like curly hair. You what? I like curly hair. That's, that's awesome. I guess it's because I'm different from my oh, yeah. kid. So I think usually your mom plays the, the huge role, especially on girls' identity or loving yourself wise, since I'm lighter than them. And then on top of that, there are tons of um, lighter people here. Mm -hmm. So my kids actually, um, struggled. yeah, struggled. So, but I'm glad that I found you and I mean, you're there. And then actually, interestingly, we haven't really had any really bad experience, yeah, you know? Like, uh -huh. here, people don't really judge you as much. They just accept you. And that's what I really like about the city. They don't really treat someone differently just because how they look. If they see someone who's kind of by themselves, so they'll just go ask if they're okay. Yeah. So there's not a lot of bullying here. Mm -hmm. That's great. Okay, I was worried at first, but then now I'm Yuri and the Somi. But they never really experienced anything major. Hey, you're different or that, that type mm -hmm. of thing. They yeah. never really experienced that. So actually, I'm, maybe it's just me worrying too much. <laughs> <laughs> it's just me worrying too much. Is their mom, you know? 
yeah, yeah. But at the same time, I've seen Yuri crying because you know, I care. I can't just like, oh, it's just like one of the stage, you know, they go through. Like, I don't want to do that. I just like want to make sure that they love themselves, they embrace their features, and they love their beauty. Being different is not always bad. I mean, it's actually, it can be good. The good thing about being different. Well, like being different, I especially like being different. When you're different, people know like who you are and they remember you and you'll just like make your mark on the world. My friend, uh -huh. she's black. Everyone loves her at my school and she's like, one of the most popular girls at our school and like people remember her and always like say hi to her so i should worry less <laughs> right yeah i like i love being here i like the more i stay here i except for those two experiences yeah. that i told you about yeah mostly yeah it has been very great and people compliment my kids all the time more a good experience than yeah like yeah some people some college students be like Oh, you're that girl from the gymnastics center. Yeah. is really good. Like, people will remember you. Yeah, true, true. Yeah, a lot of people remember us. <laughs> yeah. People just say, oh, they're like super cute. Like, they love your children. Because <laughs> they're like super cute and stuff. Oh, really? Uh -huh. Yeah, so mostly they, yeah, they're very nice to us. So it's great. Yeah. yeah. You drew this? Yes. That's a picture of her when she was a oh. baby. What? Yeah, that's Man, you're a white baby. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, when, when she was born, she had her eyes were blue. Yeah. yeah. Blue. I see blue eyes. So this one's with my dad holding me up. Mm -hmm. Dads always do this. I don't know why, but they do this. We also have a picture. Really? Yeah, my husband doing oh, this to Yuri. <laughs> they do it every day of their lives, and when they get bigger, you'll still be strong enough to do it, right? <laughs> <laughs> when did you change your eye color? Do you remember? I, I, she, I she grew up a bit. <laughs> yeah. I have yeah. blue eyes and then brown eyes, and now I have hazel eyes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess it's with all the mixture, <laughs> the mixed blood. Uh huh. Yeah. So, what is it like to be a black woman in this small town of Idaho? You know, I. It's fun, I think. I think almost everyone that I come across, they are nice people. Oh, yeah. You know, there are cert certain things that sometimes you can tell. I remember some years ago, one lady thought we live in the basement of the house. She didn't know that we own the house. Oh. It was like, oh, is it because of the color of the skin or you think I can't own a house? Or, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. I, was, I dropped her up at gymnastics. Uh -huh. So I was driving my car, but it has a dealer plate on it. And it had the dealer plate in the back window. Uh -huh. Anyway, the car pulled me over. Uh -huh. And I wasn't speeding, so I was wondering why. And then he said, oh, I pulled you over, not because you were speeding, but because I didn't see your license plate. But as I pulled you over, I saw your license plate. Anyway, he still asked me for my, you know, registration and license, and so I explained to him that I was a, a car dealer, so I have a dealer license to drive. Are you a dealer? Yeah. Oh, okay. You know, we're talking, and that's where we're from, we say Jamaica and so forth. But out of the blue, right before I drive off, he said to me, are you on probation? What? And I was like, I was, I was shocked. <laughs> so the only thing I could say is, what, what, what do you mean? I, I, you know, like I don't understand. Because I was so shocked. I, I know what probation is, uh -huh. but I was so shocked that he asked me that question. And then he said to me, oh, well, never mind, you're fine, because if you don't know, like, what it is. And I said, okay, but anyway, give me a lot of thoughts. But for the most part, uh -huh. people are generally nice. Mm. I, I like living here. Uh -huh. I get along with almost everybody. That's great. Yeah, but you know, like with a cop and with you know that person and mm -hmm. so forth. But that's the minority. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of times, mostly from their lack of exposure. Exposure. Yes. Exactly. And mostly innocent. That's yes. how I feel. When my daughter was, I think she was in middle school. Mm -hmm. She was come. She take the bus home from middle school. When she came off the bus, she heard someone, one of the kids, put their head through the window and shouted go back to Africa. What? <laughs> and she was like, I'm not even from Africa. <laughs> wow. But, you know, uh -huh. in that situation, I think it stems from the home and the child not being taught. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I think. True. But I always said it's it's them, not mm. me. Yeah. Or not my children. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I always tell my children, they are not black only, they're also white. Because they are both black and white. So they need to represent 
both cultures, yeah. black and white. And they all get along, all their friends are white. They get along with them. Not all of them, Matthew. Oh yeah, Matthew, oh, Matthew. Oh, yeah. Matthew. Matthew is black and white too. I don't know, I was saying that was something that was like brown or black or something. She was like, you're not black or brown, you're Jamaican. And you said no? I, she was like, you're not African. I'm like, what the heck? They said, I am American. <laughs> <laughs> You were born here. Yeah, so yeah. I'm American. I'm an Idahoan. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I am both. I am Jamaican and American. Yeah. My mom is Jamaican and my dad is an American. Yeah. It just kills me how they think that they don't count the white in them. Ah. They always say, oh, you're black. Ah. So whenever I'm filling out any forms at school for them, I put white and other, or white and black. Both. I take both. Yes. Because I don't mm -hmm. see them as only black. Yeah. And I don't see them as only one. They are both. Yeah. Black news. Oh, oh, yeah, that's. Man, this is. This is not dangerous. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to fall down there. If you. Saw me. Saw me. The saw me. Do you like her hair? <laughs> so me. <laughs> She's like, leave me alone. <laughs> you like cameras, just like me. <laughs> we have to go take pictures before the day is over. Oh. In our outfits. Oh. We're gonna go take pictures in the backyard. Uh, You're going to a party. <laughs> It's been a while. <laughs> I know, you always, all you do is just train, yeah. train, train. Now I'm going five days a week to the four, because that regional is coming up. Oh. Man, they play so well together. Right? We should come here more often. <laughs> I was gonna say that you come over more often. Time to say goodbye. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> oh, so fun. Goodbye. Yes, they can come again. She's asking if they can come again. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we'll come again. Next Saturday. Yeah. Is it fun? Yeah, so fun. <laughs> so fun. <laughs> One more hug. <laughs> You ever had Jamaican food? Um, I think I'll have maybe. you over one Sunday for dinner. <laughs> that would be awesome. Yes. <laughs> then my husband would be like, yes, let's go. <laughs> and that was my mistake. But he was upset with me and I was upset with him because... Wow, it's so beautiful. This mushroom and onions.